Welcome to lesson number 33. You can visit the link in the description below to view your free PDF copy of this lesson on your computer or purchase to download and print on Scribd.com. In this lesson, we'll be learning how to improve our improvising in all 12 keys. I've taken a very common progression, 2, 5, 1, 6, and modified it to take us through all 12 keys using the circle of fourths. Be sure to check out the PDF on Scribd.com for suggested voicings and scales for improvisation. And feel free to substitute your own voicings and scales as you see fit. The first thing we need to do is take a look at the progression itself and see how it takes us through all 12 keys using the circle of fourths. So let's start off in the key of C. We're going to start on our 2 chord, which is D minor 7. 2, our 5 chord, G7, 1, C major 7. Our 6 chord, which would normally be A minor 7, we're going to make a dominant 7. A7 to lead us back to the 2 chord. time, a little slower, two, five, one, dominant six, two, five, and now we need a chord at the end of this progression to help lead us into the next key, up a fourth from our original key. So our next key is going to be F major, but remember we're going to be starting on the two chord of F major, which would be G minor seven. So we need some sort of dominant chord that's going to lead us to that 2 chord. Now the easiest thing that I can think of is simply to use the 5 of 2, which would be D7. We can think of this as a dominant 2 chord in the key of C major, or a dominant 6 chord in the key of F major. So this D7 will lead us perfectly to the 2 in our next key, F major. Okay? Let's take this progression through the key of F major and see how it leads us to our next key, B flat major, up a fourth from our original key. 2, 5, C7, 1, F major, then our D7, our dominant 6 chord, 2, 5, 1. We need a chord that's going to lead us to our 2 chord in our next key, B flat major, which is C minor 7, so we're going to use a G7, the 5 of 2. So if you're having trouble thinking of what dominant chord to use at the end of the progress progression, you can simply think up a whole step from the one chord. So, um, so let me show you really quick in the key of C. Two, five, one, six, two, five, one. And then up a whole step from the C major seven here would simply be D, and we'll make a dominant chord, and then that'll lead us perfectly down a fifth to the two chord in our next key every time. So now we're going to work on a little ear training to help us better internalize this progression. So something I've been doing lately a lot um, that's been suggested by one of my friends is singing through the root movement of the tune or the progression that I'm working on. So the first thing that I like to do is simply play a left hand root movement and sing along and try to match the pitch perfectly with the notes that I'm playing. So we're going to start this progression out in the key of C, starting on our two chord. Da. So I'm going to give myself the note first. Da, 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 So I was simply playing the roots of each of the chords as shown in the PDF file. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is press down the notes in the left hand, but sing them instead of playing them. So it's okay if a note comes out, but just try to press them down without a note coming out. So let me give myself my first note. Da, 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 da. da. Da, 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 da. 
you can continue that until you can do it in all 12 keys. And usually I would be doing it a little slower, somewhere around 60 beats per minute. And then the final exercise would be to be able to sing the root movement without touching your instrument at all. So I'm just going to give myself a simple starting pitch here and try to sing through a couple keys without touching the instrument. Da, 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 I should have ended on the two chord in the key of E flat, which would be F. Da. So I was right on with my pitch. Okay? And you would continue singing that until you could do it in all 12 keys. And this all should be done before even trying to improvise over the progression. Uh -huh.